Hey, I'm the former fat forker. Hit the subscribe thing. It's either here or here. It's in one of those spots. Please do that. Hey, forkers. So one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, how did I lose all the weight? And the second one is probably, why did I lose weight? And if you ever saw me when I was at my heaviest, you probably didn't need to ask the question, why did you want to lose weight? Because I was fucking huge, you know, and on the verge of being unhealthy. Uh, I was lucky. I never had a health scare. I never went to the doctor and they said, hey, you know, you're on limited time. I wasn't on medication the way a lot of people are. I was young enough. I was, you know, by the time I, I, I really got into gear, I was 36 years old. And I was always fat. When I was a kid, I was fat. I was born fat. I was fat, fat, fat until I had a, a short football career in high school. And, uh, and by nature of playing football where we had uh, practices for two or three hours a day, like running in full gears, working our asses off. And so we were burning, you know, ridiculous amounts of calories a day, thousands and thousands of calories a day. And so as a typical teenager, I just ate whatever the hell I wanted and in mass quantities because I was just burning it off. It didn't matter. And then, you know, I stopped playing football and I kept on eating that way uh, because I enjoyed eating that way and I was used to eating that way. And so from that point, I just kept on gaining weight. You know, I, I, my, I, I would try little things every now and then. I would be like, oh, I should go to a gym. And I'd join a, a gym at my, my college and I'd row for a couple of weeks and didn't work. I'd learn about Atkins, so I would just eat like, I'd get shitty microwave, microwaveable meatballs and put them on lettuce and that would be my dinner. I'd make it, that'd be my salad, you know? And I'd try those kind of things for a bit and, but nothing really ever stuck because I didn't want to do it yet. My brain wasn't there, you know? Uh, I, I, uh, my, my core thing that I talk about on the website is if you want to make a change, a permanent change, you got to change the way you think, move and eat. And the thinking is the hard part. And I, I, and I took a while to do that because then what happened is I just kept on, kept on going and it wasn't really until I met my wife about 14 years ago and she's a vegetarian and so she didn't force me to become a vegetarian. I did that on my own when we got married or pescatarian really. I still ate fish and I still kind of do although I'm, I'm second guessing that a lot. And so just by nature of being with her and eating a little bit cleaner and moving a lot more because she's very active, I lost around 60 pounds. And so now I was floating between 300, 320 pounds. I don't really know because I wasn't stepping on the scale because I was embarrassed and I just didn't want to know. And it was like ostrich syndrome. If I didn't know, I wasn't overweight. And so then on my 35th birthday, I, I woke up the next morning uh, uh, having had a very good time the night before and morning Jeremy was not very happy with night Jeremy. And I think I remember having this thought that was just like, you got to get yourself in shape by the time you're 40, man. It's like, you just got to do it. You know, I had a night of, we had cupcakes for my birthday and we were giving them out to everybody. And I probably had like five cupcakes and ridiculous amounts of tequila and beer. And, uh, and just knew that it's like, this can't continue. And though it still took another year and a half, it wasn't until I was like 36 and a bit that I, I kind of got lucky and I got you know, because the one other thing that was stopping me was that I was just making excuses all along the way why I didn't want, why I couldn't get in shape. Uh, first of all, it was because my career, I had to focus on my career. Every, you know, half hour or hour I spent exercising was a half hour, hour I couldn't spend writing or, or watching movies or doing research or meeting people. And that was not going to help my film career. And so that was my first excuse. And then when Emily and I got married and had kids, that excuse is that, well, any time I spend working out is time I spend away from my family. And that makes me a bad father and a bad husband, so I can't do that. And so then, you know, by the time I'm 36 and a half, I'm running out of excuses because my career is going just fine. And, uh, and my kids are, are getting more self-sufficient in the morning. My wife doesn't need help as much. And so I didn't really have an excuse to not work out. You know, and so I, and I had this project that was upcoming. I was lucky. I had a lot of time off. And so I just said to myself, well, you're going to spend the next three months before this project starts and you're going to dedicate at least an hour a day to, uh, to, to this way of living, to, uh, to having an exercise and, and eating better. And if after two to three months you don't see any change, then, you know, you'll just be a fat forker for your entire life. And that's just how it is. And so I designed this half-ass workout routine, which you can see on, on the site. 
Uh, I, and then there's a video on YouTube as well that can show you uh, what I did for that. And then I also uh, designed, not designed, I, I decided to do calorie counting. And, um, and I wrote about that, about how I started and how I stopped calorie counting because I don't do that anymore. And that worked for me, you know, I, uh, I did that and I lost the weight. So over about two years, I went from 320 pounds, 300 pounds ish down to 166 pounds. And, uh, and that's not insignificant, you know, so from my, my very heaviest, I lost 200 pounds, which is an entire person, more than an entire person. Sometimes that's two people. That's both, that's more than both my kids weigh now. So that, that baffles me. And then at this point, I'm 166 pounds, and I know I'm at my, my kind of my goal where I need to be, and now I'm getting terrified, because now I know how to lose weight now. I know that if I just calorie count and I do these exercises, I will lose weight. Uh, and there's two things going on. I didn't want to keep on losing weight, because I was now at a healthy weight. I wanted to keep on exercising, because I was enjoying it, and you should exercise and move. And... Uh, and I wanted to still keep on eating healthy and clean. I just wanted to know what do I do now to maintain? Maintenance was the thing that scared the hell out of me the most. And so that's when I discovered um, a lot of other people's stories because I was reading. So I read, you know, Dr. Joel Furman. I read, but I got to him through reading Penn Juliet's book, Presto. And, uh, and I discovered the Nutritarian Diet, which uh, there's an article on my website that explains more about being a Nutritarian. And it's essentially, at its core, is eating a high nutrient density diet. So you're eating foods that fill you up, which is something I kind of discovered through calorie counting. You know, one morning I was I was adding my shit up, and it's and I uh, and I realized that two slices of bread, which is what I always had with eggs, uh, was like 200 calories plus. And I was like, well, fuck, that's that's a lot of calories. I was trying to only eat 500, 600 calories a meal. And I was like, well, I can have an apple or an apple on a banana or two bananas or two apples with that. And that's way fucking tastier and better than two pieces of bread. Screw the bread. And so I started realizing just through calorie counting what foods had a higher nutrient and lower calorie density. Uh, so when I came across the Nutritarian Lifestyle, I was like, aha, I was like, fuck, there's a, there's a word for it and there's a whole movement around it. And so that's what I claim myself to be right now. I'm not a vegan. I'm plant-based for sure. I eat a little bit of animal products still, but I'm kind of weaning myself off of that too. I haven't had cheese in a long time. Uh, I haven't had eggs in a long time either. The only thing I'm still having a little bit is is milk and ice cream, but I haven't had that in a while either. So I'm, I'm seeing how long I can go. And uh, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm going completely plant-based, but I'm, I, treat, I use it as a treat or a topping now more than anything. And so the, the real answer to how did I change uh, the way I am and the way I've been is that uh, going back to my three pillars, you gotta change the way you think, move, and eat. And it was changing this. That was the hardest thing. You know, once I decided I wanted to do it, I wanted to dedicate my time and my energy to it, that's all I needed, you know? And, uh, and guess what, I still had time to write. I still had time to spend time with my family. I woke up at early in the morning and I just did it. I banged out a half hour or hour workout and that was it. And then I just move on days that I don't work out, I move as much as I can, I walk the dog, I walk the kids. If I have to go to the grocery store, I try to walk if I can, or I ride my bike. You know, I, I don't make excuses to be lazy. I, I, I take advantage of situations where I can be physical as much as possible. Uh, and that's the movement part, is just move as much as you can. Try to work out, or do like middle, mini, half-ass half works out. I gotta work out on my website, you can see for how you can do that anywhere, you don't even need equipment for it. So I, I do, you know, work out, proper workout a couple times a week, but then the rest of the week, you just move around. Get off your ass. Uh, but the thinking was it. It was like wanting to do it. And once that's done, all this other stuff is easy. Then that's just information, you know? So what you got to do, you're already at, on this video and on this website. So congratulations for that. It means that you're thinking about it. There's something going on your mind. You want to try it, right? And it's baby steps. You know, I had a long process. Like, like you heard me. It was like 14, 12, 12 years from going from like who I was at my heaviest to who I am now. And part of that was like meeting the right person who was very supportive. That's important to have a support system in your life. And then trial and error, a lot of trial and error, and then coming up with a, a plan for myself, you know? So it took a long time to change this, you know? And that's where you gotta get to, that's what you gotta do. So once that happens, all this is easy. This is just finding information. It's Googling shit, it's reading books, you know? And I've got, you go to my website, there's a list of websites, there's a list of books you can go to and find. 
uh, of other people that you, that can inspire you uh, if I don't fully inspire you. You know, so just do that. You're already here, so keep on the journey. So at my website, Former Fat Forker, you know, you're gonna find recipes that are e mostly easy to make for the most part, and they're tasty as fuck. You know, a lot of people are worried about this way of eating, being a nutritarian. Uh, it, it's delicious, I love eating this way. I try to post new recipes a couple times a week. I've got a lot of article ideas, some are already up there. You know, there's gonna be new content coming all the time, so keep on coming by the site. Add to the site, you know, reach out to us on Instagram and on Twitter, on Facebook. We've got portals all in there. Post your own shit. Try these recipes and, and, and put them up there. Let us know what you think of them. And share your story with others and ask for people. Don't, don't be scared of like putting yourself out there. Sometimes making yourself accountable is all you need and saying, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to do this. I need to be healthier. And telling other people is, is the biggest first step because then you're accountable now, even just to yourself to go, I got to keep up that promise I made to those people, which is a promise you make to yourself. You know, so keep coming back to the site. I'm gonna be posting videos pretty regularly, not all the time. I'm a filmmaker, so I've got other shit to do besides just this website. This website's kind of a passion project for me. Um, but I'm gonna keep on doing this because it's my passion and my love. So keep coming back and I'll keep being here and, and reach out to us on all the social media platforms. And until next time, thanks for stopping by. You know, if you like the video, please subscribe to the page. Please, uh, you know, check out our Patreon page if you want to help us out there. It helps support making the videos and keeping the site going and advertising and reaching the word out to more people. So thanks, Forkers, and we'll catch you next time.